Boink. Is it dead yet? I don't know, I can't really see too- Holy crap! Shields down, shields down! Don't you just love some of Space Engineer's scenic views? The vast gloriness of the gloriness of vastness. You know, the cool stuff. Hello everyone, my name is Dark Rubnik, and welcome back to Space Engineers. The glory vast game, that is glory vast need of gloriness. I'm repeating myself and I don't know why. <laughs> Last time we left off, we had drones everywhere. They hadn't quite come to this base yet, but I feel like it's only a matter of time, you know? And we got that under construction. I feel like that's only a matter of time before it's actually done. Is it even building? Yes, yes it is. So what are we going to do with this episode? Well, I was thinking that maybe, just maybe we can build some sort of attack vehicle. Some sort of assault vehicle to go and drive our enemies away and destroy them. We'll strike at their hearts and we'll have no mercy for them because you know that spaceship might take a while to build. The problem though is that, well, building something to strike at their hearts might, you know, slow down the construction of that down there. But hey, you know how things are. They just, that's just the way things are. Yeah, I do not know if I have any, you know, Ooh, tank blueprints that I can use, but well I won't know until I find out, you know, so let's just try and throw down a Small landing gear And we'll get it all built up and We'll see what we can actually build yo I was gonna say this spike, you know power spike looks like it's a lot bigger than it was beforehand Cause you know, this is a slow curve, but this is a sharp curve. But well, if you think about it, I do have a few more solar panels working than I did last time. Ooh, I might have to go over there. Yeah, but of course I'd have to be careful because that's the direction of the uh, evil spaceships of doom. Hey, I've just noticed something. My, my uh, welder, it's got markings on it. For, oh wow, drill and the grinder does too. Does this have it? Yeah, this does too. They got markings indicating what ranking they are. Huh, that's pretty cool. I never noticed before. But I seem to be having trouble finding anything that could be decent ground tank sort of thing, Majiggy. Huh. I can't find anything soon. I might have to just resort to Geo's tank that he you know, sent me on for the series when I was on the desert planet. I barely got a chance to use because, you know, shortly after I built it, I moved into space. I'll remove the, uh, like I did last time, I'll remove the wheels. And, you know, I'll just get fixed up with hovercraft engines. Was that, that, this is, you know, designed for, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. This was designed from before the, uh, changes to the, uh, oh, wait, I this was designed for before the changes to the driving system, so you know, don't want to get with a messed up driving system because because I'm you know can't be bothered. So I may as well just you know just shove it as a hovercraft engine and be done with it, you know. Because who knows how much effort it might take to go and actually upgrade it to uh, you know fix up the uh, driving system to you know more modern standards. Might as well just throw on hovercraft and because that would definitely work or at least I hope it will work I do have one problem last time I tried using this welder it didn't weld down there too well did, wait what where'd that bush come from was that always there it didn't weld down there too well did it I'm a little worried about how this is gonna weld Ugh. if I just leave it running will it just weld everything is that how it works I think that's how it works Maybe it can only weld so much at a time. Maybe that's why I was having trouble down there. I don't exactly do too much projector welding, so I don't exactly know how this welding system works for this sort of stuff. But mainly it's just nanite control factor because, you know, it takes so much time and effort. But I would understand if it can only weld so much at a time, so, you know, you gotta leave it a certain way. 
Oh wow, even with upgrading welders, this is gonna take a while. Holy crap, this is gonna take a while. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything chasing me down right now. Probably all piling up over there, just exploding on their own. You know how they are. Construction is going swimmingly. Keep this pace up, I might be able to finish within the next 10 episodes. <laughs> now, depending on how this style of construction goes, I want to try testing out some of those auto drones, the digging drones. Really always want to try one of them out to see how well they do. It'd be actually pretty useful to have an auto uh, digger around here. Get all the resources I'm lacking. How's construction going? I think there ain't too much left. Huh, where is that? Oh, there it is. What does it say? Projector. Coolies, I quite a lot through. It's mainly just, you know, tons and tons and tons of armor blocks. The rest is just simple stuff. Hope I don't get too close to that resource processing station. I think it'll summon some sort of evil droid army against me. Bring. Hmm. Certainly large enough. That one's not attacking me either. I wonder why they have refused to attack me. Because they attacked me beforehand, just send out a, do a droid or two. But then, the rest is coming from over there now. I feel like maybe the droids are only capable of coming from one direction at a time. So you know, if I send out a tank and go over there, then if I clear them all out, then... You know what? Never mind. Never mind! How many are out here? Three of them? Jeez! Oh wow, what was that? Missiles? Wait, no, that's no night. Did this thing do anything? Nope. Nice! By the way, they're just burning wreckage just fall to the ground. Oh, more uranium. Any more? Any more? Nah, it's just scrap and stuff. Oh, they left a bit of crater around here, didn't they? Get the feeling there's gonna be more drone attacks now off and... I think I, I paid them off by flying over in that direction. <laughs> okay, there might not be much left on the tank to construct. Because I managed to get a nice chunk into there. Projector, projector, projector. Yeah, quite a lot done now. I think it's mainly underneath stuff. Shouldn't be much effort to do. Scouting pod. Um, how are they getting close to me? I thought they kept crashing into the hill. Crap, I think they're getting smarter. Crap. I might need to throw more turrets on the base. Uh oh Where? Oh! <gasps> they figured out how to cross the hill! Crap! They have actually figured out how to cross the hill! Well, that's not a good sign. Oh no, 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 no. Very not good. I'm glad I built myself the turret tank then. Because I'm going to be needing it. And soon. I'm going to go cra uh, shoot the crap out of them. I'm pretty sure this is complete now. Did this just raise on me? I feel like it just sort of raised off the ground. Yep, yeah, projector is done. Dude. 
So now I want to get rid of these wheels and their suspensions. Oops. So that way I can replace them with. Oops. Ah, uh, wait, no, yeah, that's wheel. I can replace them with the hover engine. And it would be glorious. And then I can go tank them on. You know, it's been a little while since I used it, like, uh, the hover engine mod, you know? I think it was, you know, last time I used it was, you know, on the desert planet. And it was a pretty good mod. But when I... Oh, just dropped something. When I actually used it, I was just about leaving the planet. So, you know, I didn't really get a chance to, well, use it much. It was an awesome mod. I loved it, but I wanted to use it more. Uh, it's hover engine, large mill armoured, and sieve armoured. Ah, let's go this end. I don't know. The heck, the difference between these? I don't know. Okay. Six. Six? Nope. Okay, what about five? Huh. Okay. Guess I'll put one there. One there. I hope they don't chew up too much power. I seem to remember them chewing up a little bit of power. There. There. That correctly in alignment well, I hope so because if they're not then that's gonna be a problem for me yeah, that's one off the bot uh, top they look like they're in alignment gravity generator oh wow I need gravity generator components do I ha can I make them I think they might require platinum so it's a uh, five eight right so five ten fifteen twenty twenty five I need uh, poop -a doop I need some cobalt. Ah. Shouldn't take too much effort to go out and find- Wait, no, I think I have some. Yeah, I got a lot. Guess I gotta wait for the cobalt to run for the refineries. <laughs> Which is currently doing very slowly. It says both refineries are working on the cobalt. It's gonna take some time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got that done, that done, and last one. Yes, I do not know how well this is going to hover. This is not configured. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Wait, no. I'll pull the uranium out of there. There. Uh, wait, uh, how high is this off of the ground? Can I, like, tell it? Uh, do 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 do. Should have antenna, right? Um, HUD? No, 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 no. I want to go, uh, hover. Show on HUD. Are they visible? Yes, they're visible. So I want them all to hover around six meters off the ground, I'd say. Yeah, six meters seems reasonable. Uh, boop, boop, hover, I do seven meters height with a two meter regulation, so that way it's got a bit more spring to it. Range, I'm not entirely sure what that does. Okay. That should be what I want. And then now if I cut it off, it should float. And if not, it shouldn't hopefully do too much damage. Unless it flies off, then we got a problem. Ah, uh, it, it hovers. Yes, it hovers. Uh, that's seven meters. Yeah, that's seven meters. Oh, don't. Oh crap! I forgot. It flies off. It, it requires thrusters. Uh. Okay. It's uh slowly lower those uh hovers. Out to Jimin, we'll just slowly lower it, slowly lower it, slowly lower it, slowly lower it, slowly lower it. 
and then turn them off. If I didn't call trimmer damage, I don't think I did. Eh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now to get this to work, I need some thrusters on it. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Full stop. So, get some at the front. Why is it sparking each time I do that? Uh oh, incoming! Dang it! Why have they figured out how to cross the hill now? They weren't able to do that beforehand. I wonder if there's any sort of energy weapons I can throw on here. Uh, energy, 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 and no, no, no. Lasers! That's large ship, nope. Hmm, gimbal. I really don't know how these work. If I were to grab that for nine, like how well would that work? Probably not too well. What other lasers we got around here? Or something that could, you know, be incredibly powerful against the enemy. I sworn I had more laser weaponry than this. But I'm having trouble finding any. Because considering throwing on that force field mod, you know, all that really cool thing, but I can't find it. Is this it? Shield modulator. Shield station. Planetary. Shield emitter. Okay. And shield modulator. Got no idea how this works. I'm just going to throw it on there and hope it does the trick. Yeah. Okay, shield emitter. Right there. And then... I think I've got to dig in for you. Oh, dig in there. Uh, where'd he go? There. You go right there. Oh, I need girders for you. Field emitter. Oh boy. Do I have enough of that? Hell if I know. Well, at least I have enough for that. What are these field emitters and how much do they cost? I'm pretty sure I didn't have any field emitters beforehand, so... They built 25 already, it shouldn't take too much effort to make some. Okay, it just requires a little bit of platinum left. I got lots. Still, you know, from that grinding down stuff. Wow. No force field. I could have sworn I turned it on. I mean, finished it. Oh, whatever. Oh, looks like we got another attack incoming. Load in the missiles! Uh, load in, in the missiles, Captain. I hope I got the uh, ammo right. Not entirely sure what I'm doing right now. Cause the shield emitter ain't turning on. On? Grid compatible, true. Type small. Controlling, false. Line of sight, true. True. Is a backup, false. So, well, why won't you turn on? Backup modulator, energy protection, yeah, yeah, impulse. Let voxels bypass shield, let grids bypass shield. Okay, so, uh. Why? why no, no valid controller, is that the problem? Okay, so what's this controller? Missiles away! Ha ha ha! You got missiled! Doom! And here comes another one. Okay, we'll throw in this shield modular control thingy which you get here. There. Hopefully it works. Wink. And then the next one is the Enhancer. It is not too big, not too big. We'll throw it right there. And I should have force field coming up soon, right? Hell if I knew! I've never actually used the force field mod beforehand. This would be my first time. 
Hell, I don't even know how my power's going. Oh, <gasps> force field, yes. Force field, <laughs> That should protect me from the enemies. Is that running? Yes. Yeah, let's see, power is seven hours. Oh, nice. And we got that force field down the bottom left indicator, huh? That is cool. Wait, what are you shooting at? Uh, they must have found something to shoot at. Don't know what. Shield. Control. Shield frequency. What the heck is all this stuff? Shield charge rate? Sensor power the shield may consume. Stand shield. Sphere shield. Fortify shield. Wow, there's a lot of information here. Okay, shield has be gone up. Uh, charge rate is using a lot. Okay, okay. Uh, it's... Eh? Amplifying shield true. Enhancer mode 0%. I don't understand how that works, but hopefully it means that it's stronger. Yeah? Okay. I just need to load up with those missiles I just told myself to build. Then I want to go take it out for a test run before we end this episode because this is going to be epic. Well, let's give it a test run, shall we? See how well this thing goes. Insufficient power. Shield is failing. Holy crap, how is it insufficient power? Okay, let's give it a little bit of power first. Don't need to go have an insufficient power warning. Okay, I've added four more batteries to it. Hopefully it's enough. That seems to be enough. Guess we'll see. Oh no 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 no! Oh fudge! It's a slight dent. It should be fine. Come on, make it, make it, make it! Oh my god, that was so close! What are you shooting at? Hello, if I know. Come on, let's go deal with some of these enemies. Wow, this is a smooth drive. <laughs> oh, my shield isn't failing, that's nice. No, I'm not entirely sure how it works. A moment ago I had this orange marker down in the shield icon, but now it's gone. Really don't know how this works. Come on, bad guys. I want to test this out. I want to kill you all. I was originally considering adding more towers to it, but once I remembered that there was a shield mod installed, I'm like, you know what? Don't really need all those extra turrets. Not when the shield makes up for it. Yes, this is going to be epic. So, who's here for some fun? Me! And I forgot to add all the extra lights to the side of this thing. Hey, wait, why am I on a weird angle? I was gonna go add some lights so I can actually see around me, but I forgot to. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 turn up, turn up! Oh, crap. Hey, wait, what? Okay, that's. Strange. Did I do much damage? Nope. It's actually pretty good. It, it actually pretty much floated down. Which is really weird. It's like, you know, when you can't see what's going on and you actually drive straight off the f cliff face. But it's still fine because it just gently drifts down. Hey, you think I can bump these off with my shield? I don't know. I can't tell. I, did, I don't know if I hit it. No, I'm going straight through them with my shield. Okay. My gyros are not very responsive with my mouse, and yet when it bumped into the ground, it suddenly flipped right over into the correct direction. So, don't know if that was my gyros doing, or if it was just hitting the ground doing it. Where is this guy? Gotta be around here somewhere. Here, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. You think I hit him? Now, 
Maybe I need to destroy the scouting pod to prevent them from respawning. Oh my god, it's flipping wrong. It's flipping wrong. Oh, what just happened? Mr. Scouting Pod, just die already. My shields, please don't die already. Looks like my own turrets are killing my shields. I think Mr. Scouting Pod's dead. Uh, where is he? To the right? There he is. He don't look like he's in good condition. Oh, here comes the bad guys. Firefly attack drone. Joy. I'll take that. You think I can intercept that firefly attack drone? That looks so cool. Really should have used this mod before now. I couldn't, you know. I didn't get a chance to. Firefly, where'd the, where'd the Firefly attack drone go? Huh. Strange. Oh, hello, bad guy. Oh, wait, Taras, turn on. <laughs> bad guy dead. Am I? Oh no, I thought I was skimming against the ground. So hard to tell if I'm heading the right direction. It feels like I'm facing upwards. Pretty sure I'm facing upwards and I shouldn't be. And yet, you know, because it's so dark, I can't actually tell what's going on. Makes it seem kind of dangerous to be coming out here at night time. Mining operation site. I think that's the uh, first tower that I found. If I get rid of that, maybe I'll have less drones attacking me. Then we got a drone assembly plant all the way over there. I'm pretty sure it's one of the things attacking me. Hover engine mod is so smooth. Uh oh, who am I attacking? I have no idea, but my hover engine. Oh, no, 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 what's going on? I'm under attack from behind. I'm under attack from every direction. It's an ambush. Shield, please don't fail me. And missile launcher, hurry up and destroy that thing. Uh, did I get him? I think I might have mostly got him. Yeah, it's got him. Any other tower that goes around here? No. Let's see if I can get some ammo from him. He was shooting me a bit. Okay. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Okay, there he is. Ah. Some sort of drone of some sort. I don't see any guns anywhere. I don't see much of anything, actually. Yoink. Oh, has a tar. Aha. Ammo, 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 ammo. Got it. Anyone coming up on me? No, no one's sneaking up on me. Okay, where is it? It's over there. Leave him alone. Stop picking on me. He's already dead. So we got a Firefly attack drone over there. Attack! Where is it? Holy crap, I can't see. Wait, is it dead? Boink. Is it dead yet? I don't know, I can't really see too- holy crap! Shields down, shields down! Oh, it's self-destructed! Oh, it's self-destructed! I think I've received a bit of damage. But that would have killed me! Instead, my shields protected me! Where is the hole in the ground? Uh, where? There it is. That took me by surprise. 
was hoping for some nice resources. Instead, I just got a hole in the ground. It really didn't like me attacking it. Well, that's done for. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it summoning uh, drones on me anymore. That's always a good thing. I think I might have to return to base though, because... Yeah, those bullet holes, I'm pretty sure they're mostly fine, you know. They didn't hurt me or anything like that, it's just, you know, decals going through the uh, force field. Still, it looks kind of scary. <laughs> I want to go to base to see how much damage there is, it's probably none. And make sure I have enough ammo and stuff. Well, this episode is over. I'm actually really happy with this ship. I mean, I built it because, you know... Well, actually, it's a ship. I mean, tank. I built it because, you know, I want to attack some drones, you know, because they were getting quite vicious the last episode, and it seems that they're getting more vicious this episode. And I wanted to deal with them, you know, and it's always fun going out attacking things. And, uh, well, this got very interesting, and it's like, I finally, finally, after all this time, got a chance to actually test out the force field mod. Because that's something I really, really wanted to test out, because it looked really awesome. So, oh, oh no, 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 So, yeah, I've had a ton of fun with this episode. <laughs> and I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this episode, you know, with me continuing to survive, you know what to do. You hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see y'all next time. Bye! I feel like maybe the droids are only capable of coming from one direction at a time. So, you know, if I send out a tank and go over there, then if I clear them all out, then... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs>